everybody, it's Lux and Riot, and we're fine. <laughs> check engine light. I know I haven't made a video in a long time and sorry if the audio on this is clustered. We have a car wash over here by where we're parked right now. We've been staying at a trailer park. We're trailer park girls right now and life's been kind of homogenous. I got a new job so you know it's a Monday through Friday. I feel like I'm going corporate in the cargo trailer. Acclimating to having a more corporate job again. I work for a tech company now. It's different and it's it's like a mindset flux. I'm really happy to be able to do remote work. I did upgrade my equipment to the Insego 5G mobile hotspot from Verizon. It's working pretty well, but I have concerns for when we're in like heavy tree density areas. So I've looked into Peplink, which is extremely expensive, but it is more like a traditional router and they use it in a lot of police vehicles. So I have faith that if I struggle with this, the second thing that I've looked into just to boost what I have is the WeBoost. The company that I work for uses so much data per minute. You have to have a certain download speed in order for your programs to even work on your computer. We have done quite a lot around Miami, but a lot of it has been family focused. And with all respect for one, I don't know that that's the angle I want my channel to go where I just share everything about my life. And for two, I, it's intimate moments with family. So I'm just, you know, again, not knowing that that's the direction I want to go. I'd rather keep this camping and remote working focused more day of the life when I feel like we're out in nature and actually having to put in effort for day-to-day -day living and what that choice looks like as opposed to the intimate moments of some random bitch's life which is what I think you know showcasing everything I've been up to would be more like and I don't know that I find that terribly interesting but we're alive and we're good we have a lot of work that we need to do on the cargo trailer but it's been pleasant having things back in order. Living in the trailer park hasn't been too terrible. Uh, Riot has to be on a leash all the time, which she doesn't like, so every day we make a point to walk up to this local park and play frisbee to make sure that she's just, you know, kind of a calm, good office assistant for the rest of the day. It's just like really regular life. Like, it just feels real basic. And there's not a lot of nature and I'm finding myself just absolutely craving even just like the other day I sat and watched squirrels for like an hour. Because I just wanted to see some nature, you know? And uh, so we'll be traveling again here shortly. I'm really excited to move on. Oh, and Riot's fine. Her lip has healed up beautifully since the incident. She is a little bit more wary around dogs now, so I understand that. And she's gonna be eight this spring, so we're starting to settle in. The vet called her mature. I hate to think of her as a senior dog. I still think of her as the little teeny woodland creature that rode on my lap on the way back from the breeder you know she was just like this big now you're this big so to support the solar cabinet a little bit better i made these legs and then put in some support braces because with this being so heavy i was not confident that this shelf would hold i did use some mounting tape on the battery but that's not going to hold with jostling around so what I'd like to do is put a safety strap between here. I'd like to just mount this down better, essentially. These ones I don't think are gonna move. I have the extra little lip and they're kind of crammed in there now. But this one I don't trust, unless I put another brace in right here. I did use just mounting tape to mount this and it seems to work great. And obviously this is a lot better picture for the solar. 
than it was so it's a little cleaned up the sun is finally kind of out set up the full thing. So we're just throwing one out. See how it goes. I'll be able to on my lunch break. Oh, come on. There we go. I don't have any hookups here at the trailer park, so I've been relying on the Blue Eddy to power the office. And to power the Blue Eddy, I just got two of the SP350 350 watt solar panels. The panels connect really easily together into series using the MC4 connectors. These 350 watt monocrystalline solar panels have a high efficiency solar cell and they're splash proof. I wish they were fully rain proof, but they're at least a little water resistant. They're also pretty tough for how I drag them and slap them around. Even though I don't have them in very bright sun, you can see that I'm getting 150 watts to power the office, allowing me to work all day. In good sun, they'll charge the bloody in about four hours. You see that? That's a check engine light. We're up early. We got an appointment at Ford. I am beside myself because I'm supposed to leave in like four days to head hundreds of miles. Okay, so it's the next day. Yesterday was a whirlwind. Long story short, what ended up happening is the <clears throat> exhaust temperature sensor failed is what the code is saying. But the Ford dealership is three months backed up with diesel work. So they can't guarantee me it's going to fix it, but they are switching out the temperature sensor. And then as they were doing so, they broke a bolt on the, the tailpipe, the exhaust pipe. And apparently that bolt is like welded into the actual exhaust. So they're trying to replace that without replacing the entire exhaust. Do I believe that the bolt could have rusted and it wasn't their fault that it broke? Yes, it was a Canadian police vehicle. I had it up north. I've had it in snow and salt. There's definitely got to be some rust. Do I feel like I should pay $1,000 to have that fixed? Not really, but they have to weld it. So like I kind of understand. Nothing happens really in my life for three months and then travel drama right before I'm supposed to travel.